New construction builders in Sky Canyon. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I hope you guys are doing well. But before we get started, do me a favor, make sure you know, hit that like button and subscribe as well. So Sky Canyon, you know, I just did a video on Sky Canyon. I've done several videos on Sky Canyon. So I thought it would be great to go over all the new construction communities that are happening in Sky Canyon. So you're aware of it. Sky Canyon is growing so fast. It's unbelievable. It's a newer master plan community. I want to say it was developed in 2016 time frame. Um, I've done again videos on it so you can watch my videos to learn a little more about the history of Sky Canyon. The point of this video is just to go over all the new construction that's available here in the Sky Canyon master plan community. And if you don't know where Sky Canyon is located, it's right off of the 95 and then the Sky Canyon Park Drive, FYI. So the first community I'm going to go over is Aviano by Toll Brothers. Um, this was developed, I think, the beginning of last year. They're almost sold out. I would say maybe 75% sold out. It's an all single story community. And the nice thing about all the Toll Brother communities, regardless if it's in Sky Canyon or Summerlin, is that they will all have a community pool in it and they are all gated. FYI on that. Now, unfortunately, I don't know what the SIDS are. I don't know what the gated community HOA is for this community. But I do know that Sky Canyon HOA is about roughly $84 a month for the Master Association. Okay, so Aviano again is an all single story community by Toll Brothers and um, the, it's priced from the mid 500s. There are three different single story floor plans to choose from. You have the Avellino, which is roughly around 1800 square feet with three beds, two baths and a two car garage. Then you have the Merino, which is also approximately 1848 square feet with three beds, two baths, and two car garage. And then you also have the Trevento, which is the largest one at 2029 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and a two car garage. Now what Toll Brothers is doing, they're starting to spec out a lot of their homes and selling what's called standing inventory, even though it won't be completed for sale for 60 to 90 days and they are picking out all the selections the structural options and all the upgrades so that all you have left is a 90 days tops left to close so in aviano they did have a couple of those spec homes which was the merino i do believe yeah they had the couple merinos so the the nice thing about sky canyon is that their elevations are a little different than summerlin where Summerlin's more desert prairie, desert contemporary. Uh, Sky Canyon has the Spanish contemporary, a craftsman, and a farmhouse. So three different elevations. If you don't know what elevation is, mainly it's just the different looks of what the out, outside is going to look like. So that is Aviano. Next, we're going to go to the Mott Rose Collection by Toll Brothers, and it's just right around the corner. You have Mott Rose Collection and the Vista Rosa Collection, which are both in the same community. However, uh, the Mott Rose is all single story and then the Vista Rosa is all two story and they're separated in between the community pool. Again, gated community. So the Mott Rose is um, all single story homes. They have three models there as well, which is the Braga, which is approximately 2031 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half bathrooms. Then you have the Clavel, which is around 2064 square feet with three to four bedrooms and three bathrooms and a three car garage. And then the Avora, which is approximately around 2370 square feet with three to four bedrooms and two and a half to three and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. I have done a YouTube video on all the model homes in this collection, so you can always go check it out on my YouTube channel. Then we go to Vista Rosa, which is in the same gated community as Mott Rosa. And these are all two story homes, 
um, by Toll Brothers and the models and the prices on this one is starting from the low 600s. Now by the time you watch this video, prices may have changed because with each lot release, they definitely, definitely increase prices. So just FYI on that, that just because I said mid 600s, by the time you watch it, it could be high 600s or low 700s. It just depends. But it's good to know all the new construction that's available in the Sky Canyon area. So in the Vista Rosa, they also have three floor plans to choose from, um, ranging between 2880 to 3249 square feet. So they're a little bigger homes. You have the Castell, which is approximately 2880 square feet, four to five bedrooms, three and a half baths, and three car garage. Then you have the Loma, which is approximately 3139 square feet, four to five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, three car garage. And the last one is the Montoro, which is approximately 3249 square feet, five to six bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half bathrooms, and three car garages. So the nice thing about this community is that all of them are three car garages, which I like with the Vista Rosa and the Mont Rose collection. Now Toll Brothers just recently opened up to the public two more new collections in Sky Canyon. You're gonna have the Paloma collection and the Valera collection. Um, these literally just opened up. They were doing VIP sales this past weekend and now they are selling to the public. So, and it's, um, I can't describe where the street is, but it's a little further west from the Mott Rose and the Vista Rosa collection. So it's the same concept as the Mott Rose and Vista Rosa collection where these two collections are together um, and they share the same community pool. It's going to be gated. However, the only difference is, is that both of these are two-story homes. One's just a bigger collection than the other. So you have the Paloma collection, which is the smaller collection and they're priced in the mid 500s. Now, the important thing is, is when a new community pops up, regardless of anywhere in the valley, it's important that it's always, I always advise to try to take advantage of buying in a new community that literally just opened in the beginning phases because you take advantage of one, the lower price, and two, as each phase is released or each lots are released, the prices increase. So by the time the community has com is completed, you have gained tons of equity in your home. So in this Paloma collection, it goes up to five bedrooms, 2263 square feet to 2543 square feet. It has lofts, um, flexible living spaces, and access to, of course, the Sky Canyon amenities. So in this collection, again, three, three homes that are offered, all of them are two car garages. You have the Avela, which is approximately 2263 square feet with three to four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Then you have the Bergamo, which is approximately 2389 square feet, three to four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Then lastly, you have the Nola, which is approximately 2543 square feet um, with four to five bedrooms and three bathrooms. So then we go over to the Valera, which is in the same community. And these prices are gonna be offered in the upper 600s and all of these homes will have three car garages. So you have the Carini, which is approximately 3,272 square feet with five to six bedrooms, four and a half to five and a half baths, and again, three car garage. You have the Lonzo, which is approximately 3,482 square feet, five to six beds, four and a half to five and a half baths. And last is the Palencia, and this one's approximately 3,682 square feet with five to six bedrooms and four and a half to five and a half bathrooms. I had clients that actually was on the VIP list, was going to go with the Palencia. But the thing is, what Toll Brothers now is doing, kind of what TriPoint was doing in Summerlin, is they are specking out the structural options so that the build time is not as long. Typically, a Toll Brothers home has been taking at least 16 months. Now, with them specking a lot of these homes out, getting it approved through the county, um, the floor plan, and the options, makes time ahead of time makes it faster build time so it's 10 to 12 months instead of 14 to 16 months which is great however if you don't like those structural options you can't change it and who's to say if you wait for another lot if those options are even going to be possible so there's pros and cons to all of this um, 
but to make build time faster, I think it's smart that Tall Brothers and TriPoint are doing this. And oftentimes they pick items that most buyers are want to, gonna ha want to have in their home, like the big stacked slider doors, um, the extra garage door in the garage to the side, etc. So that is all the new construction Toll Brothers and Sky Canyon. Next, I'm actually going to go over Century Communities. I couldn't believe when I was researching how much new construction actually is in Sky Canyon. So it's good for me to learn and to also educate you guys. So in Century Communities, we have the Contaro 1 and Contaro 2. Um, Contaro 1 is looks like it's a little smaller than the Contaro 2 and it's priced from the mid 400s. They have three two-story floor plans to choose from. You have the residence 1792, which is actually 1792 square feet. So when I say residence, I don't have to go over the square footage um, with three bedrooms, two and a half baths and two car garage. Then you have residence 1943 with three beds, two and a half baths, two car garage. And then residence 2119 with um, three beds, two and a half baths and three car garage. And then in the Contaro 2, um, it's uh, bigger and it's priced in the high 400s. And the models are the Residence 2581 with three beds, two and a half baths. The Residence 2857 with three beds, two and a half baths. And then a Residence 2947, three beds, two and a half baths. Now they, they didn't specify if there's gonna be more bedrooms or if you can do three to four bedrooms, unlike with Toll Brothers, it was a more specific. I really haven't sold too many Century Community homes, one or two, but I don't know exactly how they operate. Um, but it sounds like the prices seem very reasonable, especially for the square footage. Then there's gonna be a very brand new community opening up that's literally just opened or hasn't opened, but will be coming soon. It's called Eagle Point, and it's gonna offer three two-story uh, single-family floor plans and priced in the mid 400s. So the first one is residence 2126, again, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, Residence 2259, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, all with two car garages. And then Residence 2328, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. So you see a theme here, right guys? Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think of it or if there's little more options. Then you have the Marvella, um, and this is also priced in the mid 400s. There's three different two story floor plans to choose from. You have the resident 1704. Again, same theme. All of these models have three bedrooms, two and a half baths, two car garage. Then you have residence 1859 and residence 2114. Next is Sky Mesa collection. There's Sky Mesa 1 and Sky Mesa 2. I'm not sure if Sky Mesa's really left, um, if there's anything left in it. Could be. Um, so the Sky Mesa is a little smaller and they're all going to be single story homes in both one and two, but Sky Mesa is smaller where Sky Mesa two has the bigger collections. So, and all of these, no, so it's a little different. So these are priced from the mid 400s. You have residence 1635, two bedrooms, two baths, and a two car garage. Residence 1742 with two beds, two baths, and two car garage, and then residence 1816 with three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and two car garage. Then in the Mesa, Sky Mesa Collection 2, you have uh, priced in the high 400s, you have residence 1870 with two beds and two and a half baths, two car garage. Residence 2204 has two beds, three, two and a half baths, and two car garage. And residence 2307 has uh, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and two car garage. So that wraps up all the new construction that I can research on the Sky Canyon Master Plan community. Now I say this every time I talk about buying new construction. My number one advice is if you are thinking about buying new construction, it's always important to have a real estate agent represent you. It's important that they visit the community uh, with you on your very first visit. Otherwise, if you register yourself, that real estate agent will not be able to assist you in the purchase of the new construction home. And the reason I say it's very important is it's, um, especially a lot of you guys are out of state, you are out of state, so it's good to have an agent that's here local, that could be your eyes and ears. Uh, I've done numerous videos on this. I sell a lot of new construction. I help a lot of buyers in this Las Vegas Valley navigate the new construction process. 
So it's very important that you also have an experienced real estate agent that knows how to handle the new construction communities and where they're located. That's enough about that. If you're thinking about buying a home or selling one here in the Las Vegas Valley, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer and seller form down in the description below. I've also posted a link to a blog post that will have links to all of these communities that I went over today. That way, if you want to learn more about it, you have easy access to it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one.